My name is Ishal Abdul Halain. Welcome to my video on the decrement and branch on condition codes instruction. Part 2. Let's begin. Let's study the decrement and branch when C is set instruction. This instruction first checks the C flag's value. If the value is 0, a branch is initiated as depicted in the flowchart below. It's exactly the same as explained in the part 1 of this video series. If C equals 1, the branch does not occur. The general syntax is dbcsd and comma label. The condition code checked for branching is only the C flag. Let's look at an example program using the dbcs instruction. We will call it the loop subtractor program. The purpose of the program is to subtract 1 from an operand that is initialized to 3, using a do while loop that loops for 5 times. Our final operand value should be negative 2. Here is a simplified flow chart on what our program should be doing. At the beginning, we will initialize our operand to 3 and our loop counter to 4. Our loop instructions follow next. They will decrement the operand and loop counter by 1. Next, is our decision making box. It checks whether our loop counter is equal to negative 1 or not. If not, the program will branch back to execute our loop instructions. This process repeat itself, subtracting our operand and our loop counter for each repetition of the loop. This occurs until our loop counter is equal to negative 1. At this point, our operand is negative 2, and we have repeated the loop for 5 times. Since our loop counter is negative 1, the test condition becomes true, and our program ends. This is the flowchart for our actual program. When the program starts, it goes to the first instruction. This instruction moves 3 into register D0. D0 will hold the value we will be subtracting from, and at the end of the program, it should be negative 2. However, we will see that it cannot be decremented until negative 2. The next instruction moves 4 into register D5. D5 will be our DBCS down counter, since it is set to 4, we would expect it to terminate after 5 loops. The next instruction is used to subtract 1 from D0, it is attached to label next. Note that it can change the C flag to 1 if a borrow is required for the subtract instruction. We will keep this in mind for now. Following this instruction is the DBCS D5 comma next instruction. It will check the C flag. If the C flag value is 0, D0 is decremented by 1. The value in D0 is then checked against negative 1. If it is not equal to negative 1, a branch back to label next is executed. The process repeats until D0 is equal to negative 1. Then, the program will end. On the other hand, if the C flag is set to 1 by the subtract instruction, even before the loop has repeated for 5 times, the program will end. Let's simulate our program. The program counter is initially pointing to address 1000. Before the instruction at this address is executed, the program counter must point to the next address. Thus, it is incremented to 1004. The instruction at address 1000 is executed, it moves 3 into D0, this is the data we will be subtracting 1 from. The status register's value is updated to 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 due to the move instruction. The program counter is now pointing to address 1004. Before the instruction at this address is executed, the program counter must point to the next address. Thus, it is incremented to 1008. The instruction at address 1004 is executed, it moves 4 into D5, this is the number of loops for our DBCS instruction, the status register's value is then updated to 0000. 000, 000, 000. At this point, we think that the program will branch 5 times, because our DBCS counter is 4. Ok, let's move on for now. The program counter is now pointing to address 1008. Before the instruction at this address is executed, the program counter must point to the next address. Thus, it is incremented to 1008. The instruction at address 1008 is executed, it subtracts 1 from D0, and stores the results back in D0. The status register's value is updated to 0000. 000, 000, 000. The program counter is now pointing to address 1000A. It is updated before the next instruction is executed, when the DBCS instruction is executed, it checks the C flag. 
its value is zero signaling that a branch is to be taken. Therefore, register D5 is decremented by 1. D5's value is checked against negative 1. Since it is not the same, the program counter's value is changed to the value of label next, 1008, to complete the branch. The program counter is now pointing back at address 1008. Before the instruction at this address is executed, the program counter must point to the next address. The instruction at address 1008 is executed, it subtracts 1 from D0, and stores the value 1 back in D0. The status register's value is updated to 0000. 000, 000, 000. The program counter is now pointing to address 1000A. It is updated to 1000E before the next instruction is executed. When the DBCS instruction is executed, it checks the C flag. Its value is zero signaling that a branch is to be taken. Therefore, register D5 is decremented by 1. Its new value is now 2. This value is checked against negative 1. Since it is not the same, the program counter will point to label next at address 1008 to complete the branch. The program counter is now pointing back at address 1008. Before the instruction at this address is executed, the program counter must point to the next address. The instruction at address 1008 is executed, it subtracts 1 from D0, and stores the value 0 back in D0. The status register's value is updated to 00100. The program counter is now pointing to address 1000A. As usual, it is updated to point to the next instruction, 1000E, before the current instruction is executed. When the DBCS instruction is executed, it checks the C flag. Its value is zero signaling that a branch is to be taken. Therefore, register D5 is decremented by 1. Its new value is now 1. This value is checked against negative 1. Since it is not the same, the program counter will point to label next at address 1008 to complete the branch. The program counter is now pointing back at address 1008. Before the instruction at this address is executed, the program counter must point to the next address. The instruction at address 1008 is executed, it subtracts 1 from D0, and stores the value FF back in D0. The status register's value is updated to 11001. This is because the subtraction operation resulted in a negative number that required a borrow to calculate. The program counter is now pointing to address 1000A. It is updated before the next instruction is executed, when the DBCS instruction is executed, it checks the C flag. Its value is 1, signaling that a branch is not to be taken. Therefore, the program does not branch. It simply ends. Our down counter, register D5, was never decremented to negative 1 in order to stop the branch as intended. Instead. D5 stopped at 1 because the subtract instruction caused the C flag to be set while it was looping, thus, the subtract instruction was only executed 5 times. This caused D0 to decrease from 3 to negative 1, not from 3 to negative 2 as we have intended. Please be careful of this situation when you use any of the DBCC instructions. The instruction before any DBCC instruction may have the potential to stop your branch before it even takes place. This happens if it sets the condition codes to 1. This is what happened in our example program. I hope you see my point here. If not, leave a message in the comments section. I will get back to you. Hopefully by now you would have understood the idea on how all of the DBCC instructions work. Let's summarize using the DBCS instruction. The important points are, when the DBCS instruction is executed, it checks the C flag. If C equals 1, the 68K microprocessor terminates the branch by executing the next instruction after the DBCS instruction. If C equals 0, it goes to the next step to initiate the branch. In the second step, a down counter is decremented, the down counter is 16 bits wide, and it can be any of the data registers in the 68K microprocessor. Once the down counter is decremented, its value is checked against negative 1. As long as its value is not equal to negative 1, then a branch to a label is executed. If it is equal to negative 1, 
the branch is terminated by executing the next instruction after the DBCS instruction. All of the other DBCC instructions work the same way. The only difference is that the condition code checked by each instruction is different. I think that's about it for now. Thank you for your time, and, have a nice day.